Hello everybody and it's Rye Toast here with another cool video game for y'all and um, today we're doing an easter egg and it is uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm I played, um, I believe there's three episodes in all and there's two bonus episodes that'll come out after the third episode but they only released two so far I cannot wait for the third episode, but through the whole first two episodes, I've been saying to myself, where the heck is Warren? You know, why is Warren not in the game? You know, Warren was such just, he was such a cool ass character. I loved him, especially when he kicked Nathan's ass. Oh man, I got chills when I, when that scene came on, but anyway, I, I believe everyone's been saying, where the heck is Warren? Like, he don't exist in this time? But, I've searched the game and internet, and I've found some Easter eggs that I think y'all are going to like. That shows that Warren does exist, and he is in Blackwell at this time. And the first one is is in Chloe's room in a picture. And this is the first Easter egg I'm gonna show you that Warren Graham is in Blackwell at the time before Max comes back from Seattle when Chloe is still a student at Blackwell. And I thought it was just pretty cool to find these little Easter eggs. So this is the Warren Graham Easter egg hunt. Oh, the middle finger, flipping the bird. That's one thing I always liked about Life is Strange. They got just such a cool ass soundtrack. Oh, she's lighting up a doobie. Hey, is she gonna light up a giant? No, cigarette. She's such a rebel, you know. Chloe is such a badass. You are such a rebel, Chloe Price. Let's find that picture. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. All right, you gotta look at something so your your mom will call you for breakfast. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Oh. Paradise. Little Max and William. So sad. Daily think it's the journal. Rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Principal Wells. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. All right, well, once you get out of the bed and everything, you're going to want to come over to right next to a computer there's a shelf where the middle finger is sticking up where you're you're being flipped the bird 
There's a photo under there. It says, look, you're going to hit triangle or if you have Xbox, I think it's Y or something or computer, whatever. You're just going to look at the photo. And... And she saved my life. Right on the top left row, you're going to see Warren Graham. And then when you look under Blackwell Academy, he's the first name right next to Chloe Price, which I thought was just pretty fucking cool. He's right next to Chloe. Warren Graham, you could tell by that, that baby blue line on his shirt. Since he wears the same shirt every day, I guess. You don't get changed. I don't know. Or maybe he just has a closet full of a hundred of them types of shirts. But that's Warren. It's pretty creepy, though. They, none of them have faces. I didn't understand that. But you could tell who the characters are, but they just faceless people. Okay, anyway. That's that one. And then we're going to do the second Easter egg. Which is in... Episode 1 as well. And it's on the campus actually there's two easter eggs i believe in this in these scenes and it's um one steph and mikey when you go to get your cd from them there's actually another cd sitting on the table and if you look close, you can't zoom in on it, but if you look at it, it says for Warren. Oh, this guy's an asshole. Yeah, whatever. You say thanks, he still fucks you over anyway. I think it's worse if you say thanks. So. Hello, Black Hell. Oh, Chloe. we gotta talk oh. to this guy first. Hey, Elliot. Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. And actually, the next true, Easter though. egg that's on the boys' campus I mean, is in his room. Elliot's room Who on his computer. Is talking shit about me? You know. An email haters. from Warren to him. On social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right, see you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, The Tempest, man. I heard Nathan Prescott's up for an Oscar, right? Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. All right, so I've after you leave class. Elliot, you're gonna wanna walk over to you're right all the way over here. Well, actually, we could do this real fast while we're over here. Knock out this other Easter egg, which you've probably seen. It's all over the internet. But I haven't seen a 
video yet of all the other e little Easter eggs like the one I just showed you that shows that Warren does exist that Blackwell so I I think this might be one of the first but anyway here's another Easter egg there goes good old Warren over there all the way on the right by the uh, Bigfoot's uh, football field outside I bet she's nerding it up with he's uh, next to the three people standing by himself if you see him that's the shape of his body his, you can see his hair again faceless like the picture weird but you could see the stripe in his shirt I've seen pictures on the internet where they zoom in and everything which I can't do but I don't have that kind of equipment as of right now but you could pretty much see that's Warren just chilling over there that's another little Easter egg and now we're gonna go over to where Stephen, Stephen might be somewhere quiet in the courtyard are sitting they're playing Dungeons and Dragons or some bullshit so you, you could pretty much tell that they're friends of Warren you know playing Dungeons and Dragons so that's Warren's peeps right there anyway if you look down at the CD you got to get it from the right angle there you can see it says for Warren I mean you have that pretty good eyes to see I can't zoom in but you can see it says for I bet Warren. Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables so I guess she borrowed that from Warren and that's the oh no wait I'm sorry there is another Easter egg here too which actually my daughter helped me find I was looking all over for it my daughter actually helped me find this one it's right over here I believe yep there it is eh, well at least not for now and it says new 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 sci-fi movie club meets 5:30 on Wednesdays new to the genre let us introduce you to the classics have a movie suggestion see Warren or Brooke which obviously is Warren Graham and then there's Brooke well we know Brooke but um yeah so Warren is uh I guess one of the heads or on the um, panel of the sci-fi club which uh, suits him as well as Dungeons and Dragons so that's pretty cool and there you have uh, Nathan Two-Face literally alright and now for the third and final Warren Easter egg that I know of which I don't think there's any more there could be but this one's in episode two a brave new world it's when you have to go to the boys dormitory to um to rob Drew or whatever you pick to do if you rob them give them the money let him get his ass kicked whatever I just let him get his ass kicked cause basically you protect the little brother and I don't like right. Drew anyway Which so it didn't matter but anyway before you go to Drew's room you're gonna wanna hang a right right here and this is Elliot's room the guy we were talking to before remember when I mentioned this and he has a little wizard I don't know if that's a little stick figure Harry Potter thou shall not pass with a little lightning exclamation point could Elliot be lamer if he tried 
I doubt it. But let's go into Elliot's room and this is Elliot's room. And you're going to want to walk over to the computer Elliot's and mom look at it. Nice. And there's going to be an email from Lucky his mom Dana. and from Logan. And then the Warren next one Graham. is from Warren Such Graham. Nerd. <laughs> and I guess this is about the sci-fi movie club or whatever they're in. And it says, subject, reply, worst movies ever? You're so wrong. I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies, but so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? What's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits? Warren. So an email from Warren Graham to Elliot Hampton. And that is another Easter egg that shows that Warren Graham does exist in this time in uh, Life is Strange. Which, when I first started playing this, I was thinking maybe he didn't because he wasn't really in it. Like you see Nathan, Victoria, which I don't know why they didn't give him more scenes, you know. I thought he deserved to have, there's still a third episode. And I'm thinking he could possibly be in a third episode as well as, I know there's supposed to be two bonus episodes after the third episode. I think he deserves to get some screen time but like I said I was beginning to think maybe he was just new he he transferred over when Max came and that was his first year but as we see from these Easter eggs he was here all along when Chloe and Rachel were students and yeah well um, if you like the video Hit like and subscribe, and uh, also leave a comment. Let me know if you think what you think if Warren's going to be in episode three, or if you think he's going to be in the two bonus episodes. Just let me know. One of and, these has um, to be room. Anyway, this is Raito saying, "Peace out and God bless."